wonderful viewers of TSM. This is your favorite host, Ogemdi. And right about now, we are at Otsocha Stadium for the opening ceremony, Soludo Victory on the 17th Interlocal Government um, Football Championship, proudly um, organized by all Soludo support group. And today is a match between Anambra East and Obara. And I bet this is a moment you don't want to miss. All right, so you can also get more updates from us by following our social media handles. Okay, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Solution Magazine TV. You can also follow us or like our Facebook page, The Solution Magazine. You can also check us out on our website, www.thesolutionmagazine.com. Thank you. speech at the opening ceremony of Soludo Victory on the 17th Inter local, local government, uh, government uh, football championship protocol. The governor elect Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, CFR, uh, the deputy governor elect Dr. Gebas Onyeka Chukwu Ibezim, the chief host and transition chairman Anambra, Anambra East, Honorable the loyal father of the day, Igwe Mike Idigo Ezudo Aguleri, the chief guest of honor and chairman sports council, council Anambra State, Chief Tony Ori, Omena, Omena, Omena Okoche Aguleri, the chairman of Soluto Support Group, Honorable Shinedu Moye Gramo. The Chairman Local Organizing Committee of the, of the tournament, Honorable Chinedu Eze Yagazia, our special guest of honor, distinguished members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I feel humble and honored to stand before you today to share this occasion and to declare the Sorudo victory on the 17th Interlocal Government Football Championship open. Apart from, apart from the grace of God upon my life, I can't, I can't really figure out why the LOC of this competition shoots me, given the fact that there are so many respected Anambrarians who, who, who would have been better, better choice. So I thank God Almighty, and I thank God Almighty and the organiz organizer of this program for the confidence you reposed in me. I don't take this for granted. Let me also use this platform to thank the chairman of all Sorudo support group, Honorable Shinodunwoye Gramo, for, for, for all his effort in pulling all of us together to make a difference in, in our state. We are still in the mood of celebration after months of tedious work residing the, go the, the gubernatorial election and landslide victory of our leader on November 6th. We are still jubilating because if not for God, who was on our side when the forces of darkness rose against us and our, on our dear state. We won't, we won't have been gathered here today in the spirit of unity, love and sportsmanship. We have every reason to celebrate this victory as long as we remember that the administration of the governor elect uh, means to our individual lives and collective destinies as Indian Ambara. God has given us the kind of governor that nation of the world are praying to have as their country president. We are rejoicing through 
this medium because I have not seen yet the kind of transformation that this is about to happen in Anambra State. Not many days from now. So as 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 you pray as you pray this your march, do it in the spirit of gratitude for what God has done for us in the Anambra. As I look at the prayers in this competition, it reminded me of my past as a young footballer in this state. There was no match I knew about that I did not pray right from my primary school days until I left the shore of Nigeria to the United States of America. I had desired to pick football as a career, but there was no support system in place to help talented kids from poor homes to pursue their dreams in football, in football abroad. By the time I got to the United States, it was already late for me, for any serious club to consider me, given my age. It was painful, but out of, that pain, out of this pain, other sports management limited was born to make sure that no child with football talent in Africa, especially in Anambra State, to fail to utilize his God-given God talent to earn a living on account of lack of opportunity to excel. Other Sports Management Limited is a sports talent discovering a development company with office in Nigeria, US, and Turkey. Since its inception, we have successfully established other sports academy in Lagos, Turkey, in, and Turkey. We have successfully taken good players from Nigeria to abroad where they are pursuing their football career. As I speak to you now, other sports has a training camp in East Mia, Turkey, where over, over 60 athletic, athletics are, uh, are undergoing training. We, we have used this platform to empower youth in Europe, America, Asia, and Africa. In our quest to empower the youth of Anambra, we have, al we have always brought professional scouts to watch local competition of the, of the purpose of, t of parental discovery and exposure. exposure to a foreign club. It might interest you to know that other sports has a global network of partnership in Ukraine, Russia, Turkey, and Turkey, Romania, and Spain, with links to major, major football clubs around, around the world. Some months ago, my foreign partner and I visited one of the Barcelona FC Academy. All they, were, all they, all they wanted from us was good, talented football from Africa, and we promised them that very soon we will give them option from Nigeria to select from Anambra State. My question to, to you today is who is ready to be discovered by other sports? For information, we have scouts from Turkey on the ground here who will be who will be in the in the in, in all the matches. Their job is to identify those those skill, those skill players in their tournament. At the end of this championship, Two teams will be formed, which will play against each other. Two white scout, two white scout owners, scout club owners, will be coming to sign the players in this very match. For those, for those in the two teams who will not be signed, other sports will still keep eye on them as they as they improve. If I were you, I would pray my best because this kind of opportunity rarely comes. As you, as you engage with one another, remember that this competition is not do or die. There are still many competitions ahead of you. Just do your best and leave the rest for God. With this, I declare to Rudolf Victor on the 17th inter-local government football competition open. In the name of the, in the, in the, name of the God, of the Father, God of Son, and God of Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish better for you. ทีมมาจากฝรั่งอาลุชินาดานอบอนอนโซเฮียนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นนั่นน
Are you ready? Yeah. Camera. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, please, can we meet you? Your name and. Chegodi, Chegodi. Chief Sebastian, the friend of my young. Also, I can visit the embers. I'm from the embers. I'm from the embers. I'm based in Boston, USA. Okay, um. We learned from that you have a greater plan other than what we're saying. Can we know? Yes, um, that's uh, that's the reason why I'm here today. Uh, I'm supposed to be in Abuja right now because uh, when I got information about this game, I said, "Wow, this is what I'm looking for." And then I'm also looking for partner because uh, Nigeria has the best. Players in the whole world. Why people from family from liberty? Our problem is that we don't have a builder, people that can build them back home here. 
and then as well as uh, living in America, it's not easy for me to come down here and spend two months. So now that I saw this and I said this is good, and then, uh, I, I told the organizing committee that it's not just about winning 500,000 million or the year. Also, sports is beyond that. We need to we need to make avenue for scouts to be here. Under two days, I got the information. I have to wait a call. I call my coach from Turkey. So I, want to to I want him to just start from the beginning to the end and make sure they get, get us the best. And those best, believe me, God knows that those best will end up in, in a professional football club in Europe. It's not about we have the access. God has given us the access. It's not that nobody is about God. I believe in God that everything that men have is from God. So God has given us the access to support these kids. <laughs> but the problem we have, we don't have good builder back home here. So the okay. new incoming governor coming in, and uh, when I get, when I went through his uh, manifesto of our scores, so I said, wow, God has sent him truly to stop crime happening in Ambra State. The youth, a lot of youth, we, we want to engage youth to be involved, and that's the only thing we need. From that, I believe God is going to do something. So there's a hope for them. Okay, so um, sustainably, can we go on um, for the next four years probably that Osulido will be as a governor? Can we, do we have plans that not just end here or this first tournament? We yeah, have it too. Digest. We have plan also for the male team and female team in Anambra State. We have proposal for that, how to put it together. Uh, you can see some Jesse here with Anambra United. It's owned by government, Anambra State government, but was abandoned. So, we need to bring it. so it's not just gonna, this is the starting point. This is just the starting point where we're going to be involved. Not only not only football, not only soccer. Okay. Entertainment. Okay. There is a lot of musicians out there. Who nobody see them. We are going to we are going, we going to hunt for them in Anambra State. Through your company and partnership with the government. Exactly. Okay. So what do you see from the incoming government so that this vision that you have we actually get much better? What do I think? What do you think? What kind of partnership do you seek from the incoming government so that this dream we actually get all, all we need all we need is just to have a government platform. As individual and a Nigerian, uh, uh, many of us know the name overseas when they hear about Nigeria and if it's an individual. So my aim is to just have a platform with the government. It's easy for me to go to Turkey and the highest club and sit down as a government official, speaking not just for myself, but for the whole state. So it's going to be easy for them to have, they are ready to invest. But the investment is not guaranteed if there's government, if government is not aware of the investment. So that is why I'm trying to have a partnership with the new incoming government because it's going to be a good thing for him too, for the governor coming in. It's going to be good for the whole Anambra state. It's going to be good for the youth. And then I, I promise with what we have that the sports in Anambra state will be part of the revenue coming in take other things from maybe education, other things from sports, and then we'll have what it takes. And then we'll have the materials back home here, and we just, we just need to come back and build them up. Also, we have a camp in Turkey. Also, sports have made it easy already to do, but because of that government attachment, we are finding it difficult. So with this incoming governor that has interest in sports, believe me, before the next, before the next four years, Anambra will be different in every way because as long as we got the youth, we got everything because youth are the future of every nation. So I thank God for the opportunity and I know so far Okay, this is Jesse. Okay, please come here. This is Jesse. We have the program for this. Anambra United. We are also going to have a team. Anambra Angel for the female. We have a lot of plans for them and then we build them here and then they will be traveling overseas. 
And from this game, the, the winner or the best player speak, speak here must go before the end of this year, August. There's an offer in Ukraine, uh, Ukraine for them to come for competition. If they're good and won the competition, they all have scholarship to study in Ukraine and then go into football. Okay. Thank you very much. Can we hear that name again and the company that is doing this also, I could do with minimal room. The company name is also Sports Management. Registered in USA, also registered in Nigeria. Registered in Turkey, because our camp is in Turkey. So we have what it takes, now. all we need is government backup, so that our Anambra will be happy once again. Thank you, also, we'll see more of this. Thank you, and I also Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, your name and what your company is. My name is Ola Iwaju. So what is other sports management? Uh, uh, sports uh, manage, management. What is it all about? It's all about uh, sports. We manage athletes, just as sports has said. Uh, we are registered in United States, registered in Nigeria, and also registered in Turkey. We are campus. We basically camp players in Turkey. We move players from Nigeria, uh, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, and, uh, and Ghana. Basically, in Africa, we run players and athletes to Turkey. We come down in Turkey, uh, basically train and equip them before we push them to professional clubs in Europe. Can we have maybe off-record statistics on how many players so far have benefited from this offer? Uh, actually, we've been doing a lot of work in the past, even before now. You know, uh, we've done uh, several uh, talent hunts in Nigeria, uh, especially in the eastern part. We've done in Oweri, we've done in Abia State, we've done in Alhambra, we've done in Portacot, we've done in uh, Lagos, in Abuja. We've done several times, and I, I think uh, numbers, several of players have, have uh, we've helped several of players move them out of Nigeria to, to you. Okay. And some of them, most of them, are playing professional football right now. In a very short word, in a very short sentence, what's the overview on what you're going to get from this championship and how you're going to make the maximum use of those players? Yeah, actually right now, as you can see, we are here as the monitoring team to scout players. Just as Boss has said, uh, players from here, we have opportunity for them in Ukraine in August. Under 17, as you can see, these boys are under 17. The best players will be picked out from this place and we're still going to come them in Nigeria after then we push them to Ukraine. And if they are so lucky, by the grace of God, they'll get scholarship. They're because the competition in Ukraine says uh, the, the winner of it will get scholarship. So by the grace of God, the best players from here are going to Ukraine. Thank you very much. Thank you.